Greetings, my excellent friends. Well, I saw a news story a few days ago, and it really made me wonder. You see, I've been using the internet for a long, long time. Now, I first got my computer back in 1993, even though I've been using computers for several years before that. But that was the first time I ever had a computer with a modem. And I used to dial up at a whopping 1,200 baud to send email to my brother and cousin through the campus communication network. As times passed, I leapfrogged to 14.4 KP and eventually the 28.8. I bypassed the 56 and went right to cable modem. And even though it was fast, I was completely blown away when I reached Korea last year. Because here in Korea, we have the world's fastest broadband that's been deployed on a massive scale. Now, the average speed for up and down is around 25 megs per second. That's right, 25 megs per second. Now, I've also been clocked at, well, 100 megs per second on the download side. And it makes your internet viewing experience so much better. In fact, a lot of times when I do my travel videos for YouTube, the files are well over a gig, and it takes utterly no time to put them up on YouTube. Now, back in the United States, not so much the case. I was lucky to get a meg up and down. And at that service, it was costing an arm and a leg for the upswing. Down, I was maybe able to get three or four megs. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, this news article said that the United States is at least 15 years behind South Korea in terms of upping its internet capabilities. 15 years. Now, think about that. Korea is, is the 13th most powerful economic country in the world. The United States is way up there. One, two, or three, depending on which index you use. To think that this small country of 49 million people has devoted the necessary resources to improve the infrastructure to give this powerful connection. It's available to everyone, and it costs almost next to nothing. My monthly internet bill here is 35000 won, less than $35 a month. My bill in the United States was $65 a month for six megs. And I'm getting four to five times that on average. The United States really needs to put effort into improving its infrastructure if it's ever going to hope to compete with the rest of the world. Japan, China, they have amazing, amazing infrastructures in place for the internet. Some of the other countries that are also light years ahead of the United States are the Netherlands and Sweden. In fact, 24 countries have better internet infrastructures than the United States. Now, I'm really curious. Those of you that are in the United States, what is your best speed? If you live outside the United States, what is your speed? Now, everyone doesn't have broadband. I recently met someone who is here in Korea from South Africa, and they are still using dial-up in his region, in his home city. So for, to go from a 56K to this blazing fast internet was just a mind-blowing experience for him. So I'm really interested to see what your experiences are at home. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you soon.